today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the plays that I believe to be the best play in Madden NFL 21, and that is the wide receiver cross from the shotgun tight flex out of the Atlanta offensive playbook. For those of you that don't know, my name is Cody, and I post four times a day here on YouTube trying to give you guys tips and strategies that you can use to really take your game to the next level. And um, if you're interested in really getting better at this game, one of the things that I want to encourage you to do right now is I want to encourage you to click subscribe. By clicking that subscribe button, you're going to get access to those four videos every single day that we post uh, on tips and tricks around this game. But you're also going to get access to be notified whenever we go live on YouTube. We typically live stream every single night uh, in the evening and break down some of these tips that we have for you live now again i'm going to say that this is probably the best man beater in the game we discovered this in our scheme of the week series um, for the atlanta playbook we actually have a whole scheme on atlanta and so you can check that out um, at, at our youtube channel but i want to talk about right now just specifically for just a second wide receiver cross and i think it's one of the best man beaters in the entire game um, the reason is because of the specific crossing routes that you're going to get from wide receiver cross. They're a little bit unique. They're a little bit kind of just from Arizona. And what you're going to see is these crossing routes, um, both uh, this one to Tra Tracon Smith, when he cuts to the inside, he's going to get that inside position, and he is going to beat man-to-man to -man in the inside. Uh, we'll back the coverage up here, or back the ball up here just a little bit to show you. But you also have a lot of other reads as well with this. So you got three routes stocked that pretty much kill man-to-man -man, uh, coverage, especially the way the meta uh, is running right now. What you'll see here is once he cuts to the inside, you're going to be able to click on, and you're going to be able to swerve him to the inside and catch the ball. The next thing you're going to see that I'm going to have access to is these two crossing routes. I can just lob these across. You're going to get a lot of space. You want to have your best route runners, in my opinion, in, the, in those spots. Um, those short routes really do good. Uh, these specific, I mean, they are very, very specific, though. They're not just any short route. They are specific to the wide receiver cross out of this playbook. They get little quick cut animations, and especially with defenses that are going to run the shade coverage, uh, press coverage, shade coverage over top meta, what you're going to find here, so this is press coverage, and literally he's going to roast it, absolutely roast it over and over again. Um, there I forgot that purple zone was out there, um, and so I ended up throwing the pick. But you, if you throw it early and you don't lob it up, he's going to kill it. Um, show you this one more time. So both cross and routes beat man-to-man. -man. They create this nice little underneath mesh, but you also have that right there to Jared Cook. You've got that to the right. You've got that to the left. If they are um, running just kind of standard cover two, you can actually inside pass lead that to Michael Thomas, and you can swerve him to the inside, and he is going to be able to click on uh, and make a play as well. And what I find that route to be so effective for is just kind of um, – you know, just kind of a just in case you need something a little extra. If you got a great receiver like a Michael Thomas, you can use or catch that all day long. Um, one of the other things that you could do is you could just put him on a standard uh, fade route. And what you'll see is if they're if they maybe they bust a coverage over the top, uh, you're going to have access to that. But you see these quick reads here uh, from wide receiver cross are what make it, in my opinion, the best passing play in Madden 21. And if they go zone, if the defense goes uh, to any zone coverage in the game, you're going to see that this over route right here is going to do a really good job at kind of getting that open at different points against different zone coverages. And then you're also going to have the underneath uh, from this. You'll so see here, I'll motion them out. And then we're going to have all these crossing routes. As you can see here, the wheel routes will act as lead blockers a lot of times for these crossing routes. So to me, the best passing play right now in Madden NFL 21 is wide receiver cross from shotgun tight flex out of the Atlanta Falcons playbook. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to get better at Madden 21, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is to jump in my community Discord. That's where people share ideas, share tips, share tactics. You can share your favorite plays. You can share your favorite setups there with the team as well. But guys, we are an army of people that are getting better together every, every single day uh, in Madden. So if you want to be a part of that community, I would really want to personally invite you to do that. There is a link in the description of this video that you can get that is going to allow you to join that it takes about five minutes to set up an account a great opportunity to take your game to the next level in Madden NFL 21 we've got a couple more videos coming for you this afternoon so be sure to stay tuned to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you guys this afternoon with another Madden 21 tip